Hi, uh, so the question that we have requires us to sketch the region of integration. Um, uh, then after that, we have to evaluate uh, the integral. Okay, so when it comes to uh, sketching the region of integration, it's not necessary that we have to uh, sketch the integrand right there. Okay, so uh, of course you can also maybe want to see how this one looks, but uh, it's not really a must that you have to sketch it. When talking about sketching the region of integration, you're talking about these limits that you are given right here. Okay, so uh, if you look at um, these are in terms of y and these are in terms of x. Okay, so it's just more like you have, uh, let's say in the x, you have something like uh, 0, um, let me say less than x, uh, less than y squared, those are the limits for x, uh, then you have 0, uh, that's y, then that's 1, and that is for, uh, that is for y, okay, so it's just more like you have like uh, four sets of functions, okay, you have four sets of functions, you have y is equals to um, 0, and you have y is equals to um, is equals to 1 and you also have like x is equals to y squared as well as x is equals to is equals to 0 okay so keep in mind to say if you look at this in, in 2d these are just simply lines for example 0 is just a line in 2d but in 3d is a plane okay so that's one thing that you always have to keep in mind when someone gives you say uh, z is equals to 1 it doesn't mean it's just like cutting the z axis at 1 let's say this is z axis let's say this is 1 right here it's like a plane more like something like that cutting the z axis at what at 1 that's what it means okay so um, that's what it means by us uh, sketching the region of integration you just have to look at um, the limits uh, write them in terms of functions then sketch those functions and keep in mind I emphasize to keep in mind to say when you have such, it's not just a line that cuts the x axis, the, for example, the y axis at 1 in this case. It's a plane that is cutting the y axis at 1. Okay, so I'm just going to um, kind of like uh, use a 3D graphing calculator to uh, give me a 3D view of um, what this is all about. But you can as well try to uh, do it on paper, which is going to work. And it's actually something like um, it would be something like this let's say we have that as our z axis then this as our um, as our y, as our y axis then we can put our x axis to be somewhere there but for convenience sake what I'm going to do is uh, I'll say this is the y axis and this is the x axis I'm just going to put it in 2d uh, then you can more like view it as if it is in 3D. Okay, so uh, we have y is equals to 1. So I can just put up something like that. That is y is equals to 1. Then you also have um, y is equals to 0, which is the x-axis, and, and x is equals to 0, which is the y-axis. Then you also have um, uh, x is equals to y squared. Okay, x is equals to y squared, which is uh, more like it's parabolic it's something like that okay it's something like that so uh, you can actually name this function so this one it's uh, is x is equals to y squared then this one is y is equals to 1 then this one here is y is equals to 0 then this one is um, is that's x is equals to x is equals to zero okay so you observe to say it's just more like this region that we are talking about right here okay but when you view it in 3d that's more like this would be a plane something like that and this is going to be i don't know like it would be something like that you can try to see this let's try to use the 3d graphing calculator so that we see um how this is okay so uh, we have functions x is equals to 0, uh, which I can extend in 3D, is something like that. You also have x is equals to y, uh, that is y squared, uh, that is y squared, I can extend it in 3D. Then you also have um, y is equals to 1, uh, I can extend it in 3D, and y 
is equals to zero then extend it in 3d like that so uh, if I try to kind of like rotate this you observe this is how it is so this is how we drew it in uh, in 2d if you remember okay that this is how, like how it's appearing that's more like something like that then in 3d that's how it's uh, appearing and it's something like that and uh, okay uh, yeah something like that Uh, yeah, that is something like that, and you're able to observe that our our region of integration is just somewhere on this part, like somewhere on this part. That's where we have our region of integration. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, evaluate the integral having uh, sketched this. So it's just a matter of you being able to to view it in three uh, in two D. Then you just kind of like reflect it in terms of uh, in terms of three D. That's one of the ways in which you can simplify your work actually. Okay. So uh, how this one is going to be is um, this will be equals to you still have the integral. So I'll first of all integrate the inside part. So meaning I'm still have I still have zero to one. Then uh, since I'm integrating with respect to x y and anything else is a constant so it simply means for simplicity purposes i can just write the three y to the third outside here then i have uh i have zero to y squared of e to the xy uh dx dy i'm integrating with respect to x and this will actually uh this is going to be uh, zero to one you have three y to the third. Then here, going to multiply by when you integrate this, okay? When you integrate that with respect to x, okay? It's still going to be like e to the x y. Then divide by the derivative of the power with respect to x. When you differentiate the power with respect to x, you're going to get a y here like this, okay? Then you evaluate from um, from zero to uh, zero to y. Uh, squared something like this then you have dy okay so this will be like 0 to 1 then you have uh, 3y to the third don't yet cancel this one out with what is outside there you can first of all evaluate uh, but of course yeah, I think you can cancel out it's fine but yeah let me um, since that's more like y is a constant and you're evaluating in terms of in terms of x so it's not really that much of a big deal so uh, this one is going to be e uh, to the um, that's going to be if where this x you substitute, you substitute with uh, y squared that's going to be y to the third because it will multiply with this y that you have then this is divide by divide by y minus if where this x you put zero that's going to be e to the zero and anything to the power zero is a one so that's going to be like one over one over y like that okay so this is now dy so you can choose to simplify this uh, in this manner uh, actually let me use the bottom space okay so uh, this is now going to be uh, you have integrating from 0 to 0 to 1 so you can actually uh, more like uh, factor out that 1 over y then you cancel out with uh, 1y outside that's going to be like um, 3y squared then in the brackets you have like e to the y, y to the third then um, uh, then that would be minus minus 1 actually then dy like that then this is going to be equals to I can distribute uh, or expand this uh, that's going to be 0 to 1 then that would be 3y squared e uh, y to the third uh, minus 3y squared uh, dy okay so you can choose to write these as individual integrals so meaning it can be something like uh, 0 to 1 of um, you have your 3 here uh, you have your 3y okay the bottom part seems not to be convenient for writing let me go back to the top part and just erase uh, this okay
All right, so uh, you can write those as individual integrals. So I mean, you can say it's three here, then zero to one, then that would be y squared e y to the third dy minus. You have your three, then that would be zero to one. Then you have y squared dy. Okay, so this one is going to be something like. You can use u substitution for that part. You can uh, let u be equals to. Um, you can let u, u be equals to uh, y uh, to the power three, meaning du is going to be equals to three uh, y squared dy. So our dy will be equals to du over three y squared. So uh, you observe to say when you bring it here. It's going to cancel this three here is going to cancel out with this one or oh, let me just write it so that we're able to picture it so this will be zero to one then you have y squared e to the u instead of dy that is going to be du over three y squared so you observe that this and that can cancel out this and that can cancel out so uh, having said that, then here we say minus, uh, you can actually integrate this, that's going to be 3, then you, uh, you're going to have like y to the third, divide by 3 here, from 0 to 0 to 1, okay, which you can also simplify. So uh, we have already integrated this, that is from that, so you can go ahead and integrate this one. So the integral of e to the u is still e to the u. Okay, then you evaluate from 0 to 1. Uh, this one you're evaluating from, uh, you can actually cancel out these three as well. So here you have y to the third, uh, integrating, I'm sorry, evaluating from 0 to 1. But for convenience's sake, uh, you observe to say these limits, let me not take chances, these limits 0 to 1, they are in terms of y. Let me see if they are the same limits in terms of, uh, in terms of u, so that I don't have to uh, take this back to what it uh, actually is um, yeah 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 have i made any mistake i don't think so so uh if you say u is equals to y to the third if you plug in one here the, which is this one it's still going to be one if you plug in zero it's still going to be this zero so i'm okay on that one so evaluating this uh this will be e to the one that's just e minus e to the zero which is one like that minus then this will be one to the power three which is one minus this is going to be zero so you observe to say um this can can be expanded it's more like you have e minus one minus one which actually gives us e minus two so this is the solution that we were looking for that's what we have gotten after evaluating the integral so this is basically how you go about this question it's just a matter of remembering to say when you're sketching just observe these then write them as individual functions then go ahead and sketch them in 2d when you sketch them in 2d then whatever that you get just stretch it if it's a line stretch that line let it be a plan and uh, you'll be uh, good to go okay so whether we wanted to change the order of integration or if it remains like this you observe to say um, what you're going to get is still one and the same thing so that's why in this video thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one